Hey guys, I'm Sapphire, and you're watching Toon Buzz on Channel Frederator. At Comic-Con, I had the chance to sit down with Natasha Allegri, the creator of Bee and Puppy Cat. She's also been a storyboard artist for Adventure Time, and is the one responsible for Fiona and Cake's design. Uh, tell us some of the um, things that you are working on right now. Uh, I do revision on Adventure Time, and I just finished up the Fiona and Kate comics for Boom. So how did you get into the animation industry? Like, what was your journey? I've been friends with Penn since I was for a really long time, and in college, Penn emailed me and asked to test for his show Adventure Time on Cartoon Network, and I took a test, and they liked it, and I came, moved out from Tucson to California and started working there and when people ask me like how to get started I have no idea because it was such a fluke and it would never happen again in a million years so or no it would happen to people yes of course <laughs> talented people will get jobs but it wouldn't happen to me <laughs> again so you didn't always know that you wanted to be an animator I, I knew I wanted to do comics but I didn't know actually when I was younger I would look at cartoons and be like no because it's so much work no way and I was like comics that's <laughs> less work but it's not it's just as much work it's just different so you've worked for on a show that is on tv and also on the internet so what would you say are the major differences between working for those different mediums um working for a big network there's a lot more of a crew and so each person has a very specific job that they do um but working for frederator it was different because i was trying to do everything at once which is a mistake because they were offering help like they're like do you need help and no i don't want help but it was different in the idea that there was much more to do that i had to put together kind of like a puzzle like all these pieces trying to put it together and but working for uh, frederator was amazing because they let me do whatever i want and it was awesome tell us how you pitched the story of being puppy cat to your frederator oh, sure. the pitch uh happened i had made an appointment with eric Coleman. it was around 90 degrees that day and i put on uh, my business uh, outfit, which was a polyester shirt, <laughs> polyester skirt, polyester tights, and boots. And I walked all the way to Nickelodeon that day because I don't drive. I met with Eric Coleman, and he didn't have air conditioning in his office. And so I was pitching him the storyboard page by page and trying to cover my sweaty face with my hair. Uh, and then just like one bead of sweat rolled down my <laughs> face uh, and just slow motion just came down onto the storyboard page that both me and Eric Coleman were staring at. So I quickly moved through and just like ran through the whole storyboard. Uh, and at the end of it, Eric Coleman really sweetly looks up at my face and says, oh, that was something. It was nice, but no. And uh, I went home, 90 degree hate polyester suit, uh, sweating, crying. I went back to my apartment, still sweating, still crying, and then uh, sometime in the middle of the night, Eric Coleman called me back and said, oh, we changed our mind. Someone in, a lady in New York really, really likes it, and uh, we'd like to make it a short. And that's how the short was made. <laughs> what was the inspiration for the style of being puppy cat? Sailor Moon in uh, the idea like magical girls, awesome stuff like that. Uh, but the look is a lot of early 90s anime uh, and a lot of Superbook, which is an anime that is based on time travel through the Bible. Uh, these two kids, they lose their dog through the computer. I, I'm pretty sure it's the computer and they're trying to get uh, their dog back because he's lost somewhere in the Bible. So with the help of their robot friend, they transport themselves into the Bible and are like chasing Jesus, asking Jesus where their dog is, just going through like wise men, like where's our dog? Uh, and it's fantastic. And you can find uh, episodes on YouTube if you Google Superbook. Oh, I will. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> the success of Bee and Puppy Cat was like immediate. Like people were sending in fan art and just showing so much positive reactions to your short, which is great. Um, how how did that make you feel, like, to, to so instantaneous? I felt extremely grateful and really happy, and I was really happy that people liked, I almost said non-abusive, uh, just, I like, I'm happy that people like a quiet humor, I guess. Uh, no, thank you. So the voice of Puppy Cat is really unique. Uh, who exactly is the voice? What is that? Puppy Cat is voiced by a Vocaloid, uh, like Hatsune Miku is this vocal, yeah. Oh, but this yeah. one, they have a ton of different Vocaloids. Um, and this one is Oliver, which is a young boy's voice. But a Vocaloid is a program 
and you plug it into, I guess, I don't know because I didn't do it, but you plug it into your computer and you can play it like it's an instrument. Um, and you can plug words together, write the words, and it kind of makes this kind of fragment and you can change the pitch and it's not a real person. It's a, it's a machine, or not a machine, it's a program, uh, kind of like a synth, I guess. But that was one of the funnest things about it is getting to use a vocal. Oh, cool. <laughs> it was great. Uh, whose idea was it to use that? My, mine. <laughs> So I, love I think they're the funniest because they all have a character and like this one's character is this like messed up little kid with a pet canary. He's like in a sailor outfit and half of his eye is covered in bandages and one of his legs is bandaged. Um, he's fantastic. He's adorable. And he's not real. <laughs> he's real in <enough>. Yes. <laughs> Natasha is such a sweetheart and I had such a great time learning more about her experiences. I hope her story has inspired you guys as well.